outside, inside. Hello. Do you want to come and visit Willow with me? She's got a sore hoof. And Mimi's coming too. Mimi! I'm ready. I was just getting some paper. I'm in a colouring in mood today. And you're the best colourer in her, I know, Mimi. <laughs> Let's go and see if we can cheer Willow up. <gasps> Hello, Willow. Oh, Willow, your poor hoof. <sighs> Cheer up, Willow. <laughs> You've cheered me up coming to see me. I just really miss being outside amongst the trees in the orchard. It's your favourite place, isn't it, Willow? Yes. <sighs> but I have to stay inside until my hoof is better. Poor you. <gasps> Maybe there's a way to make the inside of the stable feel more like the outside. That's a good idea. That would be lovely. So how can we bring the outside inside to remind Willow of her orchard? Hey, that's the big question. Who? Ask a lot of what? Ask a lot of where? Ask a lot of why? Ask a lot of ask it, test it, find a way. Yes, with chess. Come on, let's play. What's the question here today? How can we bring the outside inside? to remind Willow of her orchard. I know, we can just open the stable door really wide. Come on, Mimi. Look, Willow. Away! Oh dear. Quick, Jess, close the door. It was a lovely idea, Jess, but now it's too cold and windy to have the door open and I'm supposed to stay warm until my hoof is better. OK, we'll keep thinking though and we'll come back and see you again later. I'm sure we'll have an idea. Bye, Willow! We've just got to cheer her up. I know. If you try to answer the question, then I'll make Willow a get well card to help cheer her up. Great idea. Bye, Mimi. Bye. I need to ask someone who knows lots about the outside. He's Woolly and he lives in Buttercup Meadow. Is it Horace? Bar? Or Joey? It's Bar. <laughs> Yes, well done. Come on. I've got an idea, Jess. What about the sky? Or the sun? The sun's a really outsidey kind of thing. <laughs> but, Bar, those are really good ideas. Except we can't really bring the sky and the sun inside, can we? Um, no. What? <laughs> <laughs> um, let's think. The orchard is Willow's favourite outside place. So maybe there's a bit of the orchard that we could take inside. What does Willow love about the orchard? Oh, oh, I know! The trees! Yes! We'll put a tree in Willow's stable. That's a good idea. <laughs> You can come too. Let's go. <laughs> Sorry, Jess. <laughs> it's okay, Jinx. Maybe you two can help. Okay. Okay, Jess. We want to put a tree in Willow's stable to remind her of her orchard. Can you dig one up for us? Of course we can! <laughs> but Jess, 
Those roots need to be in the ground, or this tree won't be happy. You're right. And how would we carry it anyway? Joey! Jinx! Stop! Sorry, but you better put all the earth back. Oh, OK! <laughs> we can't take a whole tree, but maybe we could take something that grows on the trees. So what grows on the trees in the orchard? Cabbages? Apples? Or sunflowers? Apples, yes! Where have all the apples gone? They've completely disappeared. It's too late in the year. All the apples have fallen off the trees by now. Now what are we going to do? We still haven't got anything for her. Oh, oh, oh yes we do! My Get Well card! <laughs> Only, I can't decide what to draw. Um. <gasps> the orchard! You can draw the orchard! <gasps> That's a brilliant idea! Now, uh, what can I lean against? This'll do. No good. The bumpy tree bark is showing through as I draw. Uh, I'll lean here instead. <laughs> oh, now the leaves are showing through as I draw. How am I supposed to make Willow a card if all I get are bits of tree? <laughs> Hang on, Mimi. You might have the answer. I have. Yes! Come on, everyone. We'll all need paper and crayons. <laughs> Look, it works! <laughs> That's amazing! Ta da! <laughs> <gasps> oh, thank you, everyone. It really is like being outside in the orchard. How did you do it? Every time you lean against something and rub it with a crayon, the pattern of what you're leaning against appears. And that's how we can bring the outside inside to remind Willow of the orchard. We found the answer. Yippity yay, yippity yay, yippity yay. Hooray! the outside inside by making special rubbing pictures of outside things and bringing them inside. If one of your friends is stuck inside, why don't you make them some outside pictures too? Come and help me answer another question soon. Bye! <laughs> <laughs> I've been waiting for you. Horace is putting on a special music show at the pond and we're all going to watch. Do you want to come too? Come on! Hello, Kevin. Are you here to watch my musical show? <laughs> come on, Horace! whoop de whoop It's all those instruments. And the flags look brilliant. Hang on. Where's Mimi? She's not usually late. I saw her earlier. She was collecting lily leaves for something she was making. Yeah! <gasps> oh no, it's raining. I'm all soggy. Quickly, back to the stable and...
until it stops raining. Wait, wait! What about Horace's show? Ah, everyone's going because of the rain. Hmm. How can we all keep dry and still watch Horace's music show? Hey! That's the big question! Ask a lot of what? Ask a lot of why? Ask a lot of why? Ask it, test it, find a way. Yes, with yes, come on, let's play. What's the question here today? How can we keep dry and still watch Horace's show? I don't know. <laughs> I'm soaking. Should we go and find somewhere dry to think about it? Sorry, Horace. We'll be back as soon as we can. Woohoo! OK, Jess. See you soon. I'll keep practicing. I like the rain. <laughs> it looks like it's going to rain all day. There must be a way to keep dry and watch Horace's show. Not unless it stops raining. Well, we're dry here. Maybe we can listen to Horace from here. It's not very far. Do you remember where Horace was playing his musical instruments? At the barn, at the stable, or at the pond? At the pond! Brilliant! And look! We can see the pond from here. Let's tell him to start playing. Hi, Horace! Hi, you can start now, Hi. Horace! It's no use. He can't hear us. And I bet we wouldn't be able to hear his music from here either. We're too far away. Hmm. We'll have to find another way to keep dry and watch the show. <gasps> oh, maybe we could wear something to keep dry. Like what? There is something we can wear on our heads that might keep us dry. Can you think of what it might be? Is it a flower pot, a hat, or a scarf? A hat! That's right! Well done! Let's test it out. Can you put your head out into the rain, Bar? <gasps> out there, in the rain? Yes! To see if your woolly hat keeps it dry. Come on, Bar. It'll be fun. Oh, OK then. Is it working? Yes, I'm dry. Oh, no, wait. I am getting wet. Oh, the rain's soaking through the wool. Maybe a woolly hat isn't the right answer after all. <laughs> oh, can we go back to the barn? We might find something there we can use. That's it. This should keep the rain out. Oh. <laughs> See, it's nice and hard, so it should keep the water out. Not like Bar's soft woolly hat. And there's plenty of room for us all. Come on. Jess, are you sure this will work? Of course it will. Then we can hear Horace's music. We found the answer. Yippity yay, yippity hey. Oh, uh, no, it doesn't work. This basket might be hard. But it's still not working. Oh no, the rain's coming through all the holes. We better get back inside. Quick, this way. No, this way. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you under that basket? We're trying to keep dry to watch Horace's show. <gasps> oh no. I forgot all about it. Don't worry, you haven't missed anything. Horace had to stop because of the rain. And he won't be able to start again until we can think of a way to watch and keep dry. Maybe this can help. I just made it. It's an umbrella. Wow. It's waterproof, which means it doesn't let the water through. See? Mimi, that's brilliant. Can we have a go? Of course you can. <laughs> it 
It's a great umbrella, but it isn't big enough for all of us. We were under something leafy before that kept us dry. Do you remember? The vine leaves! They kept us dry. That's right! Maybe we can make a big umbrella out of the vine leaves. A big umbrella? A big umbrella to keep us dry. Great! Mimi, can you help us? I'd love to, Jess. The more help we have, the quicker it will get done. Let's get the others. Looks like the rain is sticking around But we won't let the good friends out We, we can beat this weather <laughs> If we build together <laughs> Use the leaves of a vine Yeah, they'll keep us nice and dry And when the music's playing Under here we're saying Um, 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 umbrella La, 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 la Let's build an umbrella Keep dry and still watch Horacey's show. We've answered the question. Yippity yay, yippity yay, yippity yay! Hooray! Hey, hey, yippity yay, we found the answer with Jess today. We followed the clues, we put it to the test, we tried our best, and then we guessed. Hey, hey, yippity yay, here's the answer. Shout hooray! We can keep dry by making a big umbrella to shelter us from the rain. Horus! 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 Hello, Greendale Farm! Yay! whoop de whoop Next time it's rainy, why don't you make your own umbrella? You can decorate it too. Come and help me answer another question soon. Bye. What's the funny little creature in the pond? Oh, hello. I'm going to go and see Horace today. Do you want to come too? Great. Come on. Maracas. Hi, Horace. What are you doing? Hey, Jess. I'm going to visit my cousins for a while. Can you pass me the pan pipes? I'm glad you're here, Jess. I, I wanted to ask a favour. Would you look after my pond friends while I'm away? Of course. I like looking after things. Cool. I knew I could rely on you, Jess. Bye. Bye, Horace. Have a great time. Wriggly thing. It's a new friend. Hello, little wriggly thing. Oh. <laughs> oh, my new friend's gone. I wonder what the funny little animal is in Horace's pond. Hey, that's the big question. Who? Ask a lot of what? Ask a lot of Ask a lot of Ask a lot of Ask it, test it, find a way Guess with Jess, come on let's play What's the question here today? What's the funny little animal in Horace's pond? Funny little animal? What funny little animal? What did it look like? Well, it had a round head and a sort of tail. It's too hard to explain. I wish I had a picture to show you. I need someone who's good at painting and drawing. Who shall I ask? Can you guess? She's pink, she's got big floppy ears, and she's brilliant at drawing. Is it Willow, Mimi, or Pa? Mimi, that's 
right. Come on. <laughs> and he had a little white mark on his nose. That's it. Perfect. It's a fish. I don't think so. Hmm. Are you sure? It's got a tail like a fish and a mouth like a fish. What else can it be? Hey, let's call him Freddy. Freddy the fish. Freddy the fish, Freddy the fish, <laughs> Freddy the fish. <laughs> I need to take another look at him, just to check. Bye. Hello, Freddy, are you there? No, he's not here. I wonder where he's gone. I'll have to keep looking for him every day until I find him. Freddy! Freddy! <sighs> Freddy, where are you? Oh. Hi, Jess. Did you find Freddy? No, puppies. I've been coming every day for a week and I still haven't seen him. Huh? Freddy! Look, he's here! Hello, Freddy! That can't be Freddy. He's got legs. So he has. That's strange. He didn't have any the last time I saw him. And now he's got two legs. Are you sure it's him? Yes. There's the little white mark on his nose. See? He can't be a fish if he's got legs. No, you're right. What could he be then? We need to take a closer look at Freddy. I'll ask Billy if I can use her magnifying glass. It's great for looking at things really closely. Puppies, you stay here and look after Freddy. Come on, let's go to Billy's. So you see, Billy, I really want to know what kind of animal Freddy is. That's my kind of question. Um, I was just thinking. A round head, long tail and two back legs. How big is this Freddy? Small, very small. That's why we need the magnifying glass. Ready when you are! Here I come! Woo! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> woof, woof, woof. We're back. Where's Freddy? Um, we were playing tail chase. We forgot to keep an eye on him. <gasps> oh no! I'll never find out what he is if he keeps disappearing. Hmm, let's think. Um, you said he had legs, so maybe he's climbed out of the pond. Of course! Let's all look. Freddy! Freddy! Where are you? Hello! Where are you? Psst! Billy, over here. I think I've found him. Oh, <laughs> well done, Ba. Hmm, I've met one of these before. That's a newt. A newt? Hey, Jess, we found Freddy. Guess what? He's a newt. <gasps> a newt? Brilliant. That means I've answered my big question. <gasps> Hold on. That's not Freddy. It's not? No. Freddy has a white mark on his nose. And he doesn't have spots on his back either. Really? Yes. There was another difference too. The newt's got four legs. Can you remember how many legs Freddy has? Did he have two legs, three legs or six legs? Two legs. That's right. Well spotted. So Freddy isn't a newt at all? No, he's not. So what kind of animal is he? Whoop, whoop! Hi, everyone. I'm back. Hi! You've been gone for weeks. Did you have a good time? It was great, but it's good to be home. <sighs> There's nothing like your own pond. Hey, who's this? It's Freddy! At least I think he's Freddy. Look, he's got that white mark on his nose. But 
But now he's got four legs and he's lost his tail. Actually, he looks just like you, Horace. <gasps> he's a frog! <laughs> of course he's a frog. He didn't look like a frog when I first met him. Ah, now that's because he was only a tadpole. A tadpole? Mm-hmm. You see, Jess, all of us frogs start as tadpoles with long tails, a bit like a fish. Then we grow two back legs and our tails get shorter. Then we grow two front legs and our tails disappear. And then we turn into frogs. So, he's Freddy the Frog. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Freddy. Now I know what the funny little animal in Horace's pond was. It was Freddy the Frog. We found the answer to the question. Yippity yay, yippity yay, yippity yay! Hooray! in Horace's pond was a tadpole that grew into a frog. <laughs> Perhaps you'll find a tadpole one day. You can watch it turn into a frog, just like Freddy. Come and help me answer another question soon. Bye-bye.